and aid book one we're starting at line 148 here the famous simile of neptune ac veluti magnin populo cum saipe coartast seditio saevit quanimis ignoble vulgus and just as magnin populo little astrophe there in a great crowd when often there arises sedition and this is actually called enjambment it's a french term enjambment it's when the word is jammed into the next line even though properly it belongs with the grammar of the line before and it helps to carry along the beat and and i want to emphasize the link here the ignoble crowd rages in its temper and now face et saxa volant uh, firebrands and rocks fly and this could also almost have a hyphen here explanatory hyphen furor arma ministrat madness supplies arms we're starting to get into Ciceronian vocabulary, furor, madness. He uh, describes Catiline as mad. Siwit. We've got Sididio. That's important. So Virgil's deliberately referring to civil wars, very recent civil wars. Tum, then. Pietate gra vac si forte virum quam. Remember, this is actually aliquem because after c nisi nomine the alien aliquis runs away then if they spot meaning the people wearum there's your dio a guy grawem look at this the big reach there it is he reaches across the caesura a guy weighty in his loyalty and in his meditis services to the state. Sealant. They grow quiet. Arectis aribus astant. And with ears pricked, they stand too. Look at these two operating another stretch there. Yes, indeed. And up here, too all these long stretches because this is the subject here and there's your v there he stretches across the caesura ile that guy meaning the the person regid dictis animos et pectora mulcat he rules with words their spirits and he soothes their hearts Sic cunctus pelagi cicidit fragor. Okay, subject here, verb here, and the modifier here. In this way, the whole smashing up of the sea subsides. Aequora post quam prospiciens genitor cae loquin vectus aperto. So the genitor. That's Neptune. That's your subject. Once we get seek, this corresponds to Waluti. Just as this happens, so this happens. So we're going from the metaphor to the things that's being referenced by the metaphor. In the same way, the breaking up, the smashing of the sea subsides, and afterwards, the Genitor. Now, this refers to Neptune, not Zeus. Sometimes Zeus is referred to as Genitor. Z uh, Neptune, Prospiciens, present act participle. And here is the DO of the present active participle looking at the water. And Invectus, that's modifying that, conveyed Kylo Aperto under a clear sky, flected equos, he guides his horses, curuque volans, and flying along, 
Dot Laura, he loosens the reins, Kuru Secundo, and his chariot follows along. Almost an ablative absolute there. Another big reach across the caesura. Defesi Aeneidae. Oop, let me get that up there for you. Defesi Aeneidae, the tired followers, followers of Aeneas. Quae proxima litera cursu contendent petere. This is weird because this little relative clause comes before its antecedent. Unusual. The shores which are closest contendent petera. They hurry to seek present active infinitive and this subject here et libiae vertuntur ad oras and they turn themselves that's a kind of a deponent middle verb to the shores of Libya. Famous simile here again all this vision of civil war Siwet Fakes Saxa Firebrands that plays a part in the first Catalinarian sedition, of course. And so the reference to the the person, that man who is Pietate Grauem, this is directly referring to Neptune, but could also be referring to Aeneas, whose epithet is Pius Aeneas, and it could also be referring to Augustus, the historical figure, who is serious in his pietate and his services to the state.